I got something for your mind, your body, and your soul. What's happening is dark here in London, but I'm heading to the railroad track. All right, I'm walking down this trail where we're really close to the train station now. Well, here is the train station. Hey, look, there's a pub. Well, I'm gonna get up early in the morning. I'm gonna start heading back and get into bed. In Florida. In Florida. <laughs> well, hello, everybody, and thank you for coming back for my part four of my sixth trip to London to see 3K Brandy. And last time you remember, hitting the streets of central London was a joy. So many historic sites. So we continue with our day trip and into the evening of visiting central london and let's take off and get it done look at this beautiful clock here that's what's so cool about this place there's nothing fake about it it's all real it's all intricate it's all beautiful and authentic and historic it's an amazing place so let's continue our tour through central london and this place obviously is a historic area because there's monuments and plaques all over the place, including this one. Check it out. Adjoining this spot stood the Stock Market 1282 to 1737. That's 500 years. Oh my goodness, what an old building. That's what I'm talking about. So much stuff to see here. Look at this place. I don't even know what it is. So many things to see, I can't see them all. We have to keep moving. Ooh, the City of London Magistrates Court. Wow, what a beautiful building. Look at this design, the color scheme. And like I said before, like the, all the old historic buildings, we're still not too far from the big contemporary modern skyscrapers. What a beautiful backdrop. And look, we're never too far from an airport. And I came across this interesting building with an interesting color pattern on the outside. So modern. It almost looks kind of military-ish, like an armored vehicle kind of building. Here's some more cool art. Some pretty Christmas lights. And down this little roadway, side street, there's some more Christmas lights. Check out this painted pavement. Very colorful. And then the building at the end, you can see, I think 3K Brandy called this the Three Fans building. Looks like some wind speedometer things to me. But check out this old church rebuilt in 1679. Look how awesome it looks. Wow. And look at the top. Let me zoom in. They actually put crowns on the top of the building. They don't mess around here. This is all real good stuff. Crowns on top of the building. <laughs> wow. And 
as we get to the corner of this block, it reveals a beautiful church. Not just any church, it's St. Paul's Cathedral. <laughs> Very significant landmark here. And let me get some really good pictures of this whole area. As you can see, it's very well presented. And here is St. Paul's Christmas tree. Look how big it is and it's perfection. All right, and let's take a closer look. Look at these cool statues up on top of the cathedral. Like I mentioned before, they don't do fake stuff here. In London, they do all the authentic carving. Everything is real and amazing. From hundreds of years ago, this is the real deal. No replicas built hundreds and hundreds of years ago. Here comes a special moment. Just listen, you're gonna hear the cathedral chimes. Beautiful historic London, the grandeur. And look, here's where the St. Paul's Cathedral is related to the River Thames. You can see here the Tower Bridge. And here is the Shard Building located at the London Bridge train station. And then I walked across the London Bridge to the monument and moved on into central London. Here's where I am now at St. Paul's Cathedral. And as I turn away, the first thing I see is this coolly advertised bus, the regular double-decker bus decorated with this advertisement. You never know what kind of bus you'll see here in London. And look, here's a regular red double-decker bus. They come in all kinds of colors. You never know what you'll see. And look, a phone booth. Remember the other video? I had a black phone booth and here's a red phone booth. Typically what you see in London. People doing touristy pictures right there. All right, I'm moving to this indoor mall area. It's very nice. It's called the One New Change. Check it out. It's nicely decorated. And look at this cool tree in the middle of the spiral staircase. Very exquisite. Here was a nice little arch, present kind of looking thing to walk under. Very cool. I liked it a lot and so did everybody else. Very nice. I took a few more videos of this because it was so nicely decorated. I liked it. I really like London here at Christmas time. So nice, wasn't it? So nice. All right, let me move out. I'm gonna head toward the River Thames. And I came across this cool little alleyway cut through. So beautiful, look at the natural plant life here. That's what I love about the city. They don't forget about the natural plant life. And you get to see these cool courtyards with wonderful foliage. 
check out this foliage. Right, it's Christmas time. All right, on our way to the River Thames. Let's do this. Oh yeah, as I continue walking the streets of London, I come across this, is this a retro look or is that really authentic flaking stucco off the side of a original stone building? I don't know. But here's the underground modern train station right next to it. And look, some more exposed block, rocks and mortar. Very cool and retro right next to a Starbucks coffee. Uh, and then looking on beyond, there is another old historic building. It's so cool to be here to see the blend of old and new, many, many centuries of different architecture mixed together. You have 200 years ago, 300 years ago, 400 years ago, and beyond, and then modern stuff. It's really cool to see all the different types of buildings here in London. Look up here on top of the building, there's a garden on the penthouse. Very cool. And then we walk out to the city streets again. More cool lights. And look, an old taxi. And look at this, an old retro London bus. Look at that old double-decker bus. Yeah, very cool to see that stuff. You never know what you'll see in London. Oh, there went another taxi. You never know what you'll see here in London. And check out this next bus, how it's decorated or an advertisement, the English tea bus. Wouldn't that be cool to ride? You ride around the city of London drinking tea and having refreshments. What a cool concept, man, we gotta do that. All right, now I'm starting to head back to the train station at London Bridge. And here I am walking across the London Bridge and there is the Tower Bridge. And in front of that is the HMS Belfast Battleship. You see that in the water. What a beautiful bridge to take a look at. And look at the city in the background. Wow, so photogenic. And there's that building, the three fans. And look at the cranes on the right. They're doing some kind of construction. Always modernizing this city. And we're getting closer to the London Bridge train station. And take a look back, you can see the walkie-talkie building and where we just came from. Very, very cool. And look, here's the shard. Look how tall it is. And that's where we're heading back to the train station to head back for the night. December 23rd, the day before Christmas Eve, and I'm heading out to see the Christmas lights here in London. So I wanted to wait till dark so I could enjoy the brilliance of the lights at night. So I'm at the train station, waiting for the train. So here we go. Here 
I am in downtown London and it is hopping. And look at the stores full of Christmas stuff. Yeah, it's the most wonderful time of the year. Oh yeah, I love me some Krispy Kreme donuts. And here is a golden Christmas tree. Here I am walking up on the Now Building, one of my favorite places to come and shoot some video with this super high definition video screens on all sides of the walls and the ceiling and the outside. It's really incredible. Let's take a closer look. Wow, look at those colors. Really, really mind boggling. almost looks like a bioluminescent greenhouse. It's so cool. It looks like you're inside the greenhouse. <laughs> Very cool. Special Christmas theme. Well, I spent enough time there. Now it's time to hit the streets of London to look for some more Christmas lights. See, it's a busy night here in London. People going everywhere. And now I'm in Chinatown. Chinese restaurants to eat at. You can see there's a lot of theaters here with musicals ready to watch. Very exciting. And I've said this before, London is full of taverns almost on every corner. We 
we made it to the Piccadilly Circus intersection. And what that means is the start of the street covered Christmas lights. And that's why we came. But you know what? The video is starting to get too long. So we're going to have to wait till next time to pick up here where the Christmas lights start. Well, I hope you enjoyed this content. And if you did, please hit the like button and subscribe if you haven't already and hit that notification bell so you'll be notified when I upload the next video. And do me a favor, share this video with a friend as it'll help my channel grow. Thank you so much for watching RB Weekends and we'll see you next time from the streets of London Christmas lights. Mm -hmm.